Hello. Do you like stickers? I do. If you'd like one of my channel stickers, uh, send me an email to this address or possibly this address and I'll be uh, happy to send you one um, free of charge. Just send me your address and I'll mail one out to you. Um, I've been exchanging stickers recently with some other excellent um, channel owners and um, I'll be doing a separate video giving shout outs to those guys. Right now, I just wanted to thank everyone who has subscribed to the channel and who um, looks in to see what I'm up to. I've had a really good uptick recently in subscribers and in people viewing my uh, content and that's humbling and uh, I really, really, really appreciate it very much. Uh, it's been a struggle to actually learn how to create content that people like and are prepared to watch, but I seem to have managed to zero in on something. Now, um, I have had some technical difficulties lately, especially with audio and microphones and things. I think I'm over that. Last video I published, I had a number of people comment on both music and quality of sound, and uh, I do appreciate those comments. I've been back through, re-edited the one that we're about to watch, and I think it's improved. So, hope so. So if you're new, you've just found this channel, please consider subscribing. Um, by doing that, that helps the channel grow, helps it get more viewers, uh, and helps me deliver and create better content. So thank you all. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, enjoy this second part of making the um, block to mount the locking cam for the cross slide. Hope you enjoy it. Just drilling the two M10 clearance holes here, using plenty of anchor lube while I'm at it. Huh. Well. I think it's sucked some chips up into the nozzle at some point. <laughs> that got it. <laughs> Just re-establishing the edge position using an edge finder here. Adding the largest end mill that I have. And then measuring the part to verify position. The back jaw, the fixed jaw of the vise location is already known. And just lubricating with anchor lube again, which is just a phenomenal um, lubricant for this kind of operation. And this is just taking out a reasonable amount of material to make a start on these counterbores. But I don't have a end mill big enough to do them in one shot and in any case this machine is not rigid enough to do that. I don't have a large enough end mill to open these counter bores in one go, so I'm just using a boring head to open them up a bit at a time. Uh, this is a 60 degree chamfer mill that I uh, 
have bought for another job, for an actual paying job actually. Um, but since I have it on hand, I have designed this part to use it because I don't have a 45 degree chamfer mill and I don't wish to buy one. I have to relieve the sides of this part. I forgot that these have to fit between the bed rails. So I just have to take about a quarter of an inch off, three quarters of an inch down either side. I'm going to plunge cut again. I'm using a nice new high speed steel tool this time and I will take my time about it. What we have here in engineering terms is a situation known as bollocksing it right up. Uh, well, not quite that severe, but these uh, clearances need to be made a bit deeper yet. Not quite clear enough to get the part between the bed rails, but more annoyingly is that the step Here is not is not high enough to clear the have a look here. Clear this. And it's because I mismeasured something. So anyone watching who I work with is now laughing their ass off because this is the kind of crap that they have to put up with from me all the time. Now I'm suffering it. Oh well. That's better. It's on there nicely. You see the idea. 
These are not the right screws, of course, but this block fits snugly on the carriage. This shaft goes into the block and will actuate a cam against this face. And I'll have custom bolts in here that will have a thread in them so that I never have to take this off, but can still mount the follow wrist against that. So that's it for this. Now we're on to the next parts. So there you are. That's the main mount bracket completed. Hope you enjoyed that. There was a lot of operations, a lot going on with that part and uh, nice to turn a rusty old piece of junk into something beautiful and delightful. Um, thank you for following along. Big thank you to all of my subscribers. Um, and I've had a, a couple of hundred almost uh, join in the last couple of weeks, which is phenomenal. So really appreciate that. If you're watching this and you're new to this channel, please consider doing a like and a subscribe and a ring the bell and come back and watch some of the other stuff. Um, hope you'll come back for the next installment on this thing, which is to make the brass locking bushing and the actuating shaft and the mount bolts. And then we'll get this installed and tested and see how well it works. Thanks very much. Bye for now. The scourge of the workshop.